Hey everybody, uh, I got my vacuum pump lined up here. Uh, so, I got all my vacuum pumps lined up here. This is the uh, Refco RL4, 12.8 pounds, I, I believe. RL2, this is 8.4. Got two of those. And then I got just received the Navic, 8.5 pounds without the oil that's all without the oil uh, as you can see here they weigh more with the oil but nice and small how I was introduced to the smaller pumps years ago uh, my buddy had a uh, tiff pump the tiff pump with the four lights and I couldn't believe how light that pump was like oh my god so I researched this is basically before computers found this Revco I can't remember how I found it bought the Revco oil leak then bought these ones here price penalty for all three because you can't get them in the um, United States it's harder it's, it, it's tough but you can, you can get them but price penalty and for the weight too the weight it's hard to find out back then it's hard to find a small pump the only one I could find was a Revco and then uh, the Navic. The Navic seems to be built really well. I used it one time. Got my vacuum down to, I think it was uh, 238. I think 238, 236. Um, turned it on, went to lunch, came back a half an hour later. It was a 238, 6, whatever. Um, so in, impressive. I will be able to achieve lower numbers than that. Um, after I play around with it a little bit and then this is my vacuum pump set up here. I use the um, the uh, uh, Blue vac with the vacuum coupler the valve core with the brad brad magnet and then the hose Hook up the pump one hose. I'm usually averaging new system um, Usually eight minutes six eight ten minutes to five hundred and then the 15 minutes, I can get uh, usually 200, 150. Not a problem. It, it's not a problem. Um, so I'm excited to see how how low I can get with the Navic with the setup that I use. And so um, yeah, that's that's my that's my setup. All right. So the the Navic vacuum pump with the Navic battery. And a charger, which is um, Makita-based battery, Makita-based, you know, architecture on the the charger. Um, can you run a Navic with a Makita battery? Uh, bottom line, it's a two-year warranty, liability. Just keep everything Navic. Um, it'd be better off just keeping everything Navic instead of having third-party batteries modifying just keep it navic um these pumps are, are not cheap but it's a convenience i love the convenience um i've heard people say that i can run my own extension cord but who cares when i'm on a job a lot of times the plug doesn't work 50 50 chance and it's on a gfi that does not work um all bets are off when you have a recovery machine I understand but I have a 50-50 chance going to a job it's gonna be a new job or a new construction so uh, I'd rather have the Navic I'd pay the price and just have the Navic The uh, Navic has a built-in check valve so you won't get oil sucked back if the battery dies, from what I understand.
the rev coat can pull single digits, it'll pull a seven. I think the lowest I've gotten on the, the rev coat. These pumps are really close. Oh yeah, they're real close. They are really close. Nine and nine. So it'll be interesting to see how the Navic pulls down with my uh, host setup that I have. Man, it's a tie. It is a tie. There you go with the first look at a Navic vacuum pump. Forgot to tell you it comes with the case. Oil. Charger pump. I got it from True Tech Tools. I'll leave a, a, um, a link in the descriptions. So that's the Navic 2.0 battery operated vacuum pump. Yeah, 379 microns and this is a 100 foot line set on this one here um, the guys do this here I'm gonna just dress up a little bit more when we're, when we're all done but I'm gonna probably two charge it with uh, three pounds of um, 410A but uh, yeah this one's still working it's a, it leaks so Get it up on a cardboard cabinet. This is a rain two stage unit. It's got a 
why is it so scary?